my father has. He worked in the family business, Prince Castle Cotton Robin, for, well, from 1940 through the 1980s with only a three year break for the Marine. The Marine Corps meant a lot to him. When I When I was a little girl growing up, Ted worked his way up from delivery man to sales manager to president of the company. And he credits the delivery department for teaching him work ethic, ethics. He credits the Marine Corps for the art of persuasion. He says both soft and hard. And he said, if you want to know what that means, have some coffee with him and sit for an hour and he'll tell you all about it. Uh, he credits his learning to work with people. Uh, he credits his mother, my grandmother, Grace, for that. She was the supervisor of the stores in the beginning. And she was a wonderful lady. She would bake pies and cookies and take them to the stores just for the managers and the salespeople just because she was a nice person. And, uh, and that was a great way to grow up, knowing her. Well, then, in 1983, three trumpeters in a rhythm section played at the 40th class reunion of the Naperville High School class reunion. Of, uh, 40th class reunion, I'll get this right. 40th class reunion of the Naperville High School class of 1943. They were a smash hit, and they called themselves Class Act three trumpeters in the rhythm <laughs> section. And thus, my father's second lifetime career was born. Yeah. Band leader. <laughs> and I remember in our house, he would have people over, and at night we were trying to go to sleep, but downstairs he had a jam session going on, and he played the string bass. You probably never knew that, but he played the string bass. He got it at an antique or something, I think. For the past 33 years, Class Act Big Band has been entertaining audiences all over Northern Illinois. The success of Class Act can be attributed to Ted and all these talented musicians. <laughs> and we are celebrating Class Act's 26th Barn Bash today. So thank you all for coming. Sure, sure. Are you 